Good morning, friend. How are you doing today? I would love to share with my final devotion for today by Apostle Grace Kovica. And today's theme scripture is Matthew chapter 8, verse 28, 29, the KJV, and it reads, And when he was come to the other side into the country of Gergesens, there met him two possessed with devils coming out of tombs exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, Son of God? Art thou come hither to meet us before the time? of deliverance is our theme for today. There is a stark difference between how the church today addresses demons and how Christ addressed and treated demons. This difference arises from how deliverance is being taught in our churches in our present day. Today, some preachers believe that you cannot truly deliver a man without pointing to the might of the devil and how powerful he is. Even though some are not directly are confessing his might, their attitude towards demons implies that they think that the devil is more powerful than them. But look at Jesus and the life he lived. There is nowhere in scripture where he implied that the devil has too much power. In fact, like our theme scripture reveals, demons would scream and cry out before he could address them. His presence in a place was enough to disrupt activity in the spiritual realm and cause demons to flee. He did not need hours of prayer to charge himself up for a deliverance session. This does not in any way mean that I am against deliverance as part of Christian ministry and our responsibility as ministers of the gospel. I have cast out demons out of people many times. However, we must carry the right consciousness when it comes to spiritual warfare. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, 29, Jesus told his disciples, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. The basis of our teaching as believers is not how powerful the devil is, but the fact that all power in heaven and earth was given to Christ and that same Christ lives in us. Hallelujah. For the study scriptures are Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, 20 to 19, and 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Golden nugget. The basis of our teaching as believers is not how powerful the devil is, but the fact that all power in heaven and earth was given to Christ and that same Christ lives in us. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Loving Father, I thank you for this truth. I stand in the confidence of one who knows that the greater one lives in me. I know that I am seated in Christ, far above all principalities, dominions, and powers. It is in this understanding that I live a consistently victorious life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have an amazing day. God bless you.